It's one of the biggest drinks in the 80s that nobody really knows how to make, a slow gin fizz. Stay tuned and we'll show you how. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Just like my father intended when he spent the bulk of his life collecting drink recipes, we've got over 11,000. Mm -hmm. We're gonna share some with you now. That's right, so sit back, enjoy, and please try this at home. All right, Vince, what do you got for us? I am going to show you how to make a slow gin fizz. Hmm. Um, I had never tried slow gin before we started doing the show, mm -hmm. and I have to admit that this is one of my favorite drinks we've done so far. And oh, wow. I used to think I didn't like gin. As a matter of fact, I, before we started doing this, I hadn't had gin since I was like 12 years old. Because I tried gin, I threw up, and that was it until I was like 50 years old. I never tried gin again. Drink responsibly. Yeah, even and I don't. don't care for gin, so I'm interested to see. I haven't tried this yet. I'm interested to see if I like it. So I do have to admit that a good gin okay. makes a big difference. Sure. This, this is a good gin. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. Could do, yeah. Um, and slow gin is basically gin that has been steeping in slow berries. Mm. It's a natural berry. Most people don't know what that means. You know, slow gins, what does that mean? Um, you never find them at the store because they're actually quite awful. <laughs> they are. They suck. They it's really suck. <laughs> Apparently, this is the only thing that you can do with them. And leave it to the British because the British will eat anything. Kidneys, liver, and slow berries. <laughs> Yeah, but this is this is really good. This is one of my favorites. So we're gonna give a nod to these people who say you can't shake gin. You can shake gin. I've shaken it. I've I've done it before. And not here I am. That's so good. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and stir this. We're gonna build this drink. We want per drink one ounce of gin, one ounce of slow gin. I love that color. One ounce of simple syrup, again, per drink, right? So this is a lot more, but one ounce of simple syrup per drink, and then about three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. I mm -hmm. found that the lemon juice, especially if it's fresh squeezed, mm -hmm. and we squeezed it like literally moments before we came on here. I was here, he's telling he the truth. He was watching me, I squirted him even. Now Eddie thinks I'm a squirter. <coughs> so, slow gin. Slow gin is, <laughs> so you take that, stir it up, you don't have to get too crazy with it. Just make sure that the lemons get in there. I'm not gonna strain this, even though there's a little bit of lemon funk in there. He'll get that one. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm breaking it up evenly. <laughs> um, get your glasses half full of ice. You don't want too much ice in there because you want to leave room for some soda. Mine's half empty. That's the thing about people who worry about whether it's half empty or half full. My job is to fill your glass. That's right, fill my glass, Vince. Um, I lost my soda. So <laughs> there's your slow gin. Here's the fizz part. Just fill a rocks glass the rest of the way up. If you want to, you can give it a quick stir, serve it with a stir, you know, whatever you're in the mood for. And that's a slow gin hmm. fizz. Very simple to make, very fast. It's literally turned into one of my favorites. Yeah, so I can smell the gin in there, but it's not as strong. There's, yeah, and there's no garnishes that go with this, traditionally. I don't know if there's a reason behind that or not. I can taste a little bit of gin, but I would drink that again. That's good. It's very refreshing. I like yeah. the slow. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about slow gin, but I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm thinking that the, the, the carbonation of the club soda mm -hmm. does helps. make it, oh. you know, kind of a... Yeah, that's good. Relaxing kind of thing. It's a little on the sweet side, but if you don't like gin, I think that you'll still like this drink. Out of all the gin drinks I've had, this is probably my favorite. Mm. Yeah, this is very your, tasty. Your Ramos Gin Fizz mm. is one of my yeah. top five drinks that we've made. Yeah, that's up there too. Okay. The problem with that drink is that it's so complicated. 12 minutes of shaking. There's a gin you shook. Yeah, I shook the hell out of it too. <laughs> so. There it is. Slow gin fizz. How to make a slow gin fizz. Mm -hmm. Very simple drink. I like it a lot. History. So history. I mean, fizzes have been around since the 1880s. Mm -hmm. It became real popular in this country in the 1940s. Uh, this is actually a derivative of the Tom Collins. Oh, yes. Tom mm -hmm. Collins. Are, remember I was telling you there's really a, it's like seven different groups of drinks. So fizzes, this is one of them. Gin fizzes in particular are very popular. Mm -hmm. 
Tom Collins. We've done that. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the slow gin fizz is again, it's a it's a gin fizz with slow gin added to it. Um, That's the name. Kind of slow gin for a long time wasn't in production. So in the 80s, a lot of people were drinking what they thought was slow gin, which was basically brandy with some sweeteners in it. Hmm. Plymouth. The gin brand that I told you is like considered the granddaddy of them all. It's the company that invented slow gin, I think. And they make some of the best, but they also make some of the most expensive. If you can find real slow gin, it's going to make a huge difference in this drink. It's like, you know, the difference between an off-brand cola versus a Coke. Mm. You can really taste it right. when you get into it. Um, that's it. Slow gin fizz. So... If you liked what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a couple things. If you could like the video, if you enjoyed what you saw, please make the drink, taste it, put some comments on there, and subscribe if you have not. And then also, please share the videos. We want to get these out to as many people as possible. And if you have someone that is not a gin fan, make it try this drink. Them. Yeah, just feed This them is them. very tasty, so. We have a blog at averagejoedrinks.com. We tweet, we're on Instagram, we have various social media things. Try to find us if you could, please. Please drink responsibly. Mm, Please. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.